in Harare. Shingai, thanks for joining us. Now, what does this mean for Joyce Mujuru? This is definitely the end of the road uh, for Joyce Mujuru under the uh, presidency of uh, Robert Mugabe. Um, she has been given her marching orders. She got them yesterday, or it was confirmed yesterday. And um, from what we've heard from her, it appears at this stage that she's not considering um, contesting the, the, um, the, the dismissal. Um, she says that it's too early to make a decision and that at this stage uh, she remains an ordinary member of the party. So really... It seems that um, she, she, she's resigned to the fact that she will not have any kind of leadership position um, under this current regime. Now, Shingai, how is the rest of the party reacting to the news? Are they happy with the new appointment or are there still Majuru supporters within the party? At this stage, if they are Majuru supporters, you're not likely to know who they are. Um, given the events of the last three months, um, the, um, there's been um, a, a great attempt by many people who were formerly uh, Majuru supporters uh, to be seen to support uh, President Robert Mugabe, to be seen to support uh, Grace Mugabe, so that they can survive politically. Um, the ones who were the, the more senior officials uh, were the ones that were axed from government, but they themselves um, haven't admitted to any kind of allegiance to Vice President uh, Joyce Mujuru. So really, at this stage, you heard the um, rapturous um, reaction to Nangagwa's appointment, and um, it, it really appears as if President Mugabe has stamped his authority on the party and has been able to, at least for the, for the meantime, to have a veneer of unity and support uh, firmly behind him. Now, does the appointment of the two deputies mean that President Mugabe has now decided to choose his successor between the two of them? It, at this stage, it appears uh, the most likely, the most likely it's ever been that um, if he does uh, decide to step down, uh, that the two vice presidents, and specifically uh, the vice president, Emerson Minagagwa, um, would take over from him. Um, he now becomes the second most senior person in the party, and um, the government decided to, or the person Mugabe decided to scrap the position of chairman. So clearly, um, the, um, the contest would be with the two vice presidents. Now, a lot of people has be, have been saying that Grace Mugabe has been put, you know, in line to one day also probably lead ZANU PF. What's your take on that now that she's the leader of the women's wing? At this stage, um, given what's happened over the last three months, it's very difficult to rule out um, anything regarding the First Lady and our Women's League boss, Grace Mugabe. Um, her drive into the, the Women's League was completely unprecedented from just an ordinary member of the party uh, with a ceremonial role um, to this very powerful position. Um, but Zimbabwe, Zana PF is still very much a liberation war party that has a lot of respect and only at this stage respects people with liberation war credentials. Um, so may, perhaps in the future, in the far future, in the distant future, she might have a chance at the presidency, but really at this stage it's unlikely because of her credentials that she would take over from, um, from President Robert Mugabe. Thank you very much for the update, Shungai.